there's been another case of HIV remission after a stem cell transplant, but this case is a little bit different. I talked to Dr. Asia Saiz Sirion from the Institute Pasteur to find out more. So there have been other cases of uh, remission after a stem cell transplant, so what's unique about this case? So in the other five cases uh, uh, that are known today, uh, there was a common characteristic is that they received uh, the cell from donors carrying a mutation in the CCR5 uh, molecule that uh, uh, renders their cells naturally resistant to most strains uh, of HIV that are transmitted today. And in the case of the patient that we are uh, presenting at the conference, uh, he has been undetectable for 20 months now after treatment interruption, despite the fact that uh, he received uh, the cells from a donor not carrying this mutation and the cells that has been expanded at our present now in the patient remain fully susceptible to HIV infection. So is there a greater risk of viral rebound for this individual than for the other cases? Yes, viral rebound is really a concern in this case because uh, in the five other individuals, um, we have, even if anogenic stem cell transplant has driven the virus to very low levels, if there is a tiny amount of virus that is 3%, there is kind of a security net that is the, the mutation of the fact that the new cells are resistant to infection. And uh, this security net is not present in this, uh, in this individual. Uh, if there is uh, still some virus present, the mechanisms that are maintaining it under control may be more transient than uh, viral rebound can occur. It has occurred in the past for other people who receive a stem cell transplant uh, from donors not carrying the mutation, although the rebound was much shorter. I'm quite optimistic that the longer the viral remain undetectable, lesser is the risk of viral rebound, but it may still occur.